chat. We have got Young Evo versus Nick on this fine Tuesday evening. Um, Nick is a player that we collected the old-fashioned way. Uh, if you guys remember a long time ago in uh, in our original show matches, we didn't know anybody. You know, Fear, Fear RL was a name that not a single person in the whole world had heard. So you can't really get people for show matches that way. So how I would do it is I would go onto the... Uh, the top 100 leaderboards, and I would just hit add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend to everybody on the list, and then hope that some of them responded. And the ones that did, I would say, hey, uh, you want to do a show match? And sometimes they'd say yes. So that was how I originally started. I I've found a lot more ways to uh, find players now. That isn't necessarily the only way to do it. Nick trying to uh, start off in this sh debut for him with a fancy shot. Young Evo almost ongoing. But um, anyways, all that to say, I decided to go through the leaderboards recently, and and now not to, you know, it's not a flex, it's not a flex, but recently there's lots of one v oneers. Uh, there's not a lot of one v oneers, I should say, on the one v one leaderboard that I don't know of in some capacity, either because they're a pro or, you know, we've at least tried to get them on stream before. But Nick was somebody I had never seen, and I said, you know what? Let's add him. Let's see if he'd be down, and he accepted. So here he is. Going up against Young Evo. Technically right now, Young Evo not in the top 100, but I don't think he's been focusing on the ones ladder as much as he did maybe earlier in the season. Uh, you got a lot when you started doing show matches for money. I always did show matches for money. Back in the, back in the day, I always did show matches for money. Um, uh, and if you were here before the stream started, you got to hear my speech on why I stopped giving money for every single show match. Um, basically, I just I don't have infinite money. I can't do it, and I'd rather save that money for the big tournaments. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hoarding my money greedily. Nice wave dash shot by Nick. I, I want to use every last bit of it on the stream. Don't get me wrong. It's just I've decided to save it up and do big tournaments instead. Evo, my goodness, what a shot. Wave dash, flip reset. A good backflip challenge. Timed well, Nick not expecting it. And uh, Nick is a very high flying player. He's a very exciting player from what we've seen so far. Doesn't like to play your run of the mill 1v1 type boring games you'll see. Um, it's definitely something that we see, you know, a lot of the times from players we don't expect to find in the top 100 I'd say like Mr. Dr. Prof Aaron is one of the best examples of a guy who just grinds buckets get w gets wins in ones but maybe isn't necessarily known as much and usually those players play you know very ground base very safe play styles but Nick looks like he's a high flyer he's gonna score here as he takes it high into the air Evo can't challenge in time and Evo is actually known for doing some great early challenges or at the very least, he's known for being able to counter those early challenges. Or maybe not as good on the defensive end. Nick, keeping it close. Chat, I'm not sure if they favored Young Evo in the gambling of channel points. You'd have to think they would. It's hard not to favor Young Evo. We've seen Young Evo play against a lot of top 100 players and crush them despite not being higher ranked than them. He always seems to play when it matters, both in tournaments and on stream. So, it's hard not to favor him, but Nick holding his own. Yo, Lucky, what's going on, man? Lucky was telling me he was going to be on late uh, this coming week, and I actually tried to message him earlier if he wanted to get in the game, but I don't think he responded. So, Lucky, if you want to play uh, after this one, maybe we can find you an EU matchup. Or if you can handle US East, we could do that as well. Evo got 86% of the channel points. Yeah, that's what I would expect. Um, I would expect Fierce Chat to be Evo fans. Evo has shown to go up against a lot of the best players. He finished second in the next gen, only losing to Daniel, and that really has to inspire some confidence in chat, um, despite being lower rated in this matchup today against Nick. For all we know, man, Nick is our new star player, though. Just waiting to get his debut. He's all tied up right now with a minute 50 left to go. I really like his car. I think he has one of the cooler cars I've ever seen. Nice low 50. A 360 to kind of uh, lull Evo to sleep. And a 50 to finish it off. But look at this car, man. This car design is like unique. I haven't seen a lot of pros use a car like this. And uh, this is a sick car. 
Yo, Fifi, what's going on, man? Yeah, definitely. We'd be down to have Fifi. Fifi versus Lucky would actually be really good if, if Lucky can play on uh, US East. Evo, playing from behind for the first time in this game. Nick not taking him long at all to get his show match chops. It sounds like, based on our conversation that I had with him before this, that he has not played in the show match before, but he is just showing up right away, ready to go. Does not seem to have the kind of nerves we've seen from a lot of recent debuters. Evo, boost starvation game. Tap off the sidewall to the ceiling, but a great recovery from Nick. As Evo smacking that a little bit too hard. Nick found his boost, and these guys have been going back and forth in front of the net. Nick finally able to take the ball away. Great handle of Evo's continuous offense. Both these guys actually so far have done a really good job of boost conservation. I don't think I've seen either one of them low on boost for very long, even when Evo was trying to starve Nick out on his back line. Nick was doing a really good job picking up pads, making sure not to use every last bit of his boost. And this great boost conservation is actually leading to what is a really fast game. You'd think maybe the game would slow down a little bit when people aren't using boost, but they are just keeping momentum at all costs. And Nick with a fifth, a nice bump deep in Evo's corner. And it's looking like game number one could be going to Nick. 12 seconds left to go. Trying to get an upset here in chat, make some betters a little bit sad. What is Nick's height? He's some 80. Oh, does he have low height? I can't really tell. I see so many different camera angles. None of them really surprise me anymore. Nick, the double flip reset, not gonna work. But doesn't matter as he is gonna take game number one up against the show match veteran of Young Evo. Here we go. Nick versus Evo. Nick taking that game number one. Rocking the unique Octane. Not the fact that the Octane is unique, but this uh, color setup. I just, this color, this, this car from Nick is just so sick. I, I hate talking about it too much because I'm sure a lot of people in chat don't care, but the setup is so sick, dude. And how, how have I not seen it before? Usually any setup that looks cool, uh, you know, everybody is using. Nick getting a so cringe out of Evo after a nice backflip challenge. It's always tough to predict backflip challenges because they're so risky. Players frequently don't want to pull the trigger and use them. But Nick does so very well. Oh my goodness, a nice breezy setup. Tried to slow the ball down to make Evo miss, but it's not going to work. Evo, a huge pre-jump from Nick. He was trying to go full field on the air dribble. Nick pre-jumps, takes it away. Might be able to flick it in. Oh, no. Evo's going to own goal it. I don't know if he meant to. As kind of like a rage quit on that play. Or if Nick just set this up perfectly so that Evo had really no choice. But, man, great play from Nick so far. We are seeing some very smart and quick play from the newcomer against one of the toughest opponents we have to offer here on stream. Evo touch off the back wall. Another backflip challenge from Nick, but he can't get to it fast enough. Evo trying to play through the pain of Nick bumping him. Does a good job of going out to midfield, grabbing boost. Nick finally, for the first time in a long time, is going to be out of boost. Has to head all the way back to his net, but his early pre-jumps on these plays are so well handled. Evo cannot find a way to get under them. Usually, oh, this time he forces Nick to own goal, but... Usually on those pre-jumps, you try and pull the ball down and find a, a way to squeeze it under the player who's jumping early, but Nick is playing him so fast. Evo doesn't even have any time to react. And this has been great, great aerial defense from Nick so far in this match. And it has really sort of silenced Evo, made him slow down his game a lot. This time, though, we over-talked him a little bit. and He is going to make a very incorrect pre-jump off the back wall not even much of a pre-jump just launched himself to the moon when the ball was falling down far away from the net so Evo has an easy touch for his second 
Nice kickoff. Ooh, almost convinced Evo to own goal it, but I think Nick should have had that. Missing the pre-flip just barely. This player of Nick's caliber certainly, you know, capable of scoring that shot off the kickoff. Evo. Nice pressure. Low boost, but not getting off the ball. Trying to get a favorable cut in field. And takes it away from Nick. Nick was just so frantic in front of his net, despite the fact that Evo did not really have a great shot attempt with his very little boost. Maybe Nick's nerves coming in, or just his quick play style not always going to go his way as Evo will take his first lead in a while. And he'll hand it right back. Nick has no trouble tapping in a free ball given to him by Evo. This is all Evo. Evo takes it back into his own corner. Tried to jump to dodge that demo. He thought for sure Nick was going to be coming in from behind to demo him out of the play. So tried to pre-jump over that onto the wall and his wave dash missed. And that's why it looks like Evo was just a crazy man who was flipping around for no reason. When you watch it from his perspective, you understand the kind of plays he's trying to make. He isn't just playing like a platinum out here. He's playing extra smart, but not always is it going to work out. Nice takeaway here from Nick. Nick just absolutely torched on that one. Don't know why he thought he was going to be able to get that second touch as he went flying away. Nick diving into the corner. It's always interesting when players steal the back corner boost of their opposition and let them take mid boost because both players then turn around on the opposite side of the field they want to be and they don't really know what to do. Sometimes they try and bump each other. Sometimes they try and cut the ball um, and take it in field or, or you know, punish somebody for going the wrong way. But usually they just awkwardly stare at each other as they switch places. Nice demo by Evo. Nick going a little bit too fast for his own good right now, and Evo has now put on a considerable lead. Nick needs to get his wheels back under him. See a little bit more of what we saw in that game number one. Or, of course, get some kickoff goals. Wow, Nick a little bit leisurely waiting for that ball to come out and taking the safest possible kickoff goal. And the result is that Evo... Is able to make it back in time. A great save from him. The continuation of the play, though, will eventually go in favor of Nick. Let him have fun. Jeez. You love it. You're cringe. Anyway, you need to get some sleep. See you later, boys. We'll let you know if you won big or if you're a poor, poor man. Evo. The delayed musty. Not going to be that deadly of a shot. Nick will have... No trouble taking it the other way. Nick not letting Evo have fun. As Evo can't connect on a more stylish play. Nick a good takedown. Off the wall. Over Evo at midfield. But can't finish it off. And a pre-flip. To the boost. Oh my goodness, Evo might have left the net open. No, he knows what he's doing. So scared of getting bumped, he let Nick take possession. But with the extreme boost advantage, he knew he could make it back and make the save. Give it to the corner. Opportunity for a full field. Daniel dribble from the corner. Nice flip to set that up, but a little bit too strong. A really well placed shot. But too quick. Nick will have a straightforward save. Evo giving Nick a nice shot as these two guys continue to dodge each other's demos when neither of them are trying to demo. So sure that the other will be coming to demo. Evo, a great midfield challenge. He'll get a seventh. Nick being a little bit greedy trying to hold on to that dribble for as long as he can but Evo knows with this lead if he suffocates he should be okay both of these guys telling each other the other is lame whenever they score on them
Evo will take game number two by a two-goal margin, which I think is what Nick won game number one by. So tied up in terms of goals and the game series as we head to game number three. This feels like the Winter Majors X Finals. It's because it is. No, it's not. But it's just as important. Just waiting for Evo to hop back in. Don't forget to check out the YouTube. We are YouTube partners now. So when you go watch the new video, it might have ads on it. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, if you watch them, then maybe I'll get some money. And maybe we'll make bigger tournaments. Here we go. Evo versus Nick. Game number three. A very um, close game so far. Look at this, guys. They traded cars. Evo playing in the Fennec wanted to uh, switch out of the Fennec and into the Octane. Nick, who was playing the Octane, decided he needed something else. So he switches into the Fennec. So a nice car swap into game number three. So far, going in favor of Evo. I'm not sure before this game or before the first two games of this series, I had seen Evo play anything but Octane. So I was a little surprised to see him in the Fennec today anyways. Now back to what he's probably a little bit more comfortable with. And who knows what Nick plays. We've only ever seen him play two games. But everybody in Octane Hitbox main nowadays. Nick, a nice drop down to himself. He has had a lot of fancy setups. Oh my goodness, Evo. Such an early challenge. Both these guys are so good at the early challenges. It's actually insane. These high dribbles are usually so tough to defend, but when you go as balls to the wall quick as both these defenders have, there's really no time for that offender to make any adjustment, and you can steal it away from him. It is not an easy task, by the way, to do that effectively. Lots of players who try will go flying by and look very, very stupid, but these guys have perfected it. And so far have cut each other's aerial game off a lot. Evo on the ground can't get the fake. Nick going to take a trip all the way into Evo's corner for a 100 boost. Nick setting up the shadow defense. Evo had such slow momentum there on that ball. He had to flick it over. He had almost no choice. And Nick, quite an easy pop as he just reverses and waits to bait Evo into making an incorrect challenge. Evo must have thought Nick was going to try and low 50 in that situation. Nick definitely had the boost, and this will be ooh, about as close as it gets. I was going to say this is going to be a big mistake if Nick doesn't connect on this kickoff. But the roll, actually the roll was probably hurting him. Still making it in just the inside lower post. Evo switching up the kickoff. Doesn't like the way that Nick has been leading on the kickoffs. I don't think... We've seen a direct kickoff for Evo yet, like we've seen for Nick, as well as a bunch of opportunities for direct kickoffs that Nick just barely wasn't able to finish. So the kickoff's heavily in favor of him. Evo will switch it up, go for the wave dash kickoff, and that's not going to work either. Nick, once again, capitalizing on a free bucket off the kickoff. Nice 50 off the wall. Evo, super early challenge, but a great recovery. So fast. Back to demo Nick out of the play. Nick waiting in net. Evo, long dribble and a great readjustment by Evo. The early challenges have been coming fast and furious this game. So Evo expected the early challenge. You could tell he was baiting a play to you know, pull back off the ball, do that back half flip that he did and set up the low 50. He has finally been able to take down one of these guys' early challenges. And maybe we'll see a differing setup from Nick on defense going forward. Nice flip reset. Way, oh, not wave dash. I thought he was gonna take it all the way down to the wave dash. Started saying the wrong word, but the musty. Not gonna work. Not gonna squeeze it above Evo, who barely had to jump to get in the way. But Nick has been great at sniping the net with these counter shots. Counter attack shots. Evo playing so quick. Frequently finding himself out of position. And 
A player less talented might not be able to punish him for it, but Nick has had great one-two setups to boom power shots and open up a bigger lead. Evo, a direct kickoff, will get a third. Who is Nick, though? Nick is... Um, Nick is, how do you say... Uh, just on the top top 100. He's just top 50. That's how I found him. A fake flip reset shot. Nick is Nick. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Ooh, what a heads up play. That was a canceled half flip. Oh my goodness. This shot from Nick is actually so sick. He backflips and cancels it in order to keep his wheels directly in front of the ball so that when Evo goes for the 50, the ball will die on his wheels and he can make a continuation shot. So that was actually a super five head play from Nick as he will go at 5-3. to three. Congrats to Evo on the team announcement for underage kids. I'm not sure um, what that is. I guess I haven't heard about whatever you're talking about or you're just making a nice joke. Nick, he has loved getting fancy with those ground dribbles when Evo gives him space. He has 360 every single one. Sometimes able to turn it into something that time nothing will come from it a minute 30 left to go and nick retaking control of this series trying to finish off this game with a win put himself on double match point this nick guy is cracked yeah he's actually playing insane for for someone who i had never seen on stream before and we just picked up from the top 100 he is playing very very well nick nice dodge of a very very predictable demo attempt from evo but both these guys solo boost and Evo may be relying on it. Holy cow! Oh my goodness. Feed RL. You're crazy! Evo gonna get a fourth with 55 seconds left to go. Oh baby! Catch your oh babies in chat. 10 gifted is huge feed. Oh my gosh, man. 10 gifted out of nowhere from feed. Oh. I want to just sit here and thank you forever, but I have to keep casting. Thank you so much, Feed. I'll, I'll thank you some more after the series as well. Evo, with 50 seconds left to go, trying to work his way back in. The most important game of any series. Game three, Nick is so cracked. Holy cow. Nick is insane. A great breezy fake into a perfect ground shot. Evo just caught watching, cannot take it away. Nick, flip reset off the sidewall, not the best of first touches. Going to have a really hard time getting that back online. That being said, a little bit of a mix-up at midfield, and he'll have a wide open net. Evo going to pop out as he is forfeiting this game number three. Nice touch from Nick. Nick, man, Nick is popping off right now. 28 seconds left to go. We will end this one. We'll hop out of the match. I'm just going to assume that when I hop out of the match, Nick understands that that means we're moving on to the next one. The Fear RL Squad. You don't know what to call it. Uh, everybody who's sub. Uh, MGRL14. Everybody better be giving oh babies and Fear RL 7s in the chat for uh, Feeds 10 Gifted. That was huge, man. Thank you so much. We are headed into game number four. Nick up 2 1 on Young Evo, the youngster himself who uh, refuses to have his name say the same thing every time he plays. So technically, he's Evho today. I asked Nick what the symbol in the middle of his name was, and he didn't really answer. He just said his name is Nick. So, I don't know what the little box is supposed to mean. Nice tap away. Nick just finding opportunities at midfield to squeeze the ball past young Evo and grab his open shot. Nick is 56, but where's Evo on the leaderboard? Evo is technically not in the top 100 right now. I think he's a little bit outside. Probably somewhere in between 100 and 200. Um, but most of his show matches, Evo has not been in the top 100, but he has still performed very, very well. Um, Evo wants Mo to join his call. I'm sure Mo saw that on stream. Nick, a demo on a back clear from Evo and he'll have an easy second. Um, no worries, you don't know if I'd be interested in streaming tomorrow night. Oh yeah, tomorrow night, I think I am gonna stream tomorrow, tomorrow night, um, just so you know. 
I'm literally trying to enjoy myself. Well, of course. Enjoying yourself is also winning. As Nick on fire right now. Seeming like he just handed over a free bucket to Evo. But it's not going to work. Nick must be set up. Everything is working for him right now. I mean, it's not going in the net, but Evo cannot even get to the ball right now. He is just in Nick's world, doing whatever Nick wants. Just barely able to connect on that last second bump. Evo, his first opportunity in this game number four to have lots of space, and what does he do with it? Well, a speedy dribble that he can't keep control of, and he loses it into the corner. Nick gaining control at midfield. This ground shot will be easily saved. Evo has decided to play without ever letting go of boost. I think he's a little bit tilted here in this game number four, and the way he's handling it is to never, ever, ever let go of boost, never slow down. He is just going so fast right now, and uh, it's not necessarily working. You do have to play with some, um, you know, patience in ones. You can't always just outspeed, but he's trying to outspeed right now, and it has not been working. Evo, a nice kickoff. Going to grab first possession for the first time in a while and a nice setup to himself. And he'll put this one top shelf, top left corner. Nick, not able to make the save, was not ready for that good of a catch. Really good catch coming from young Evo to break the seal in this game number four. What's going on, Adam? You're subbed. Congratulations on the gifted sub. Feed is goaded. Evo off the back wall for a second. And all of a sudden, it's looking possible for a young Evo when for the first few minutes, he seemed completely lost. He made Nick miss on this touch off the back wall. Nick no longer dominating the kickoffs like he was earlier in the series. Evo has found a way to shift that ball over into his half. That being said, Nick did get first possession and not able to commit, or sorry, not able to convert it into a solid chance. His flick goes nowhere, and Evo will get a third. So just like that, Evo has tied it all back up. It seemed like our boy Nick has been trying to speed up a little bit here to catch up with Evo, and that's just playing into his game as he has tapped it past Nick for an easy third. So halfway through the game, almost exactly, we're tied back up. Evo needing the game bad to stay and force a game five. Nick trying to end his first ever show match in four. Can you coach Evo? Um, mm, I don't know. Sure. You going to coach him with stream delay? You can't join the party if that's what you're asking. Nick. His power shot sent booming away. Evo going to wait on the back line. Another early challenge. These guys love those early challenges. Normally so risky, but man, they've made it look like it's a given. They make it look like it's the safe play with how well they've been handling him. Nick, low on boost. He has not been low on boost a lot this series. Has done a really good job of boost management, but he'll drop low for one of the first few times, and He'll die as a result. And an easy tap in for a fourth for Evo. Nick stealing the back corner boost as a way to keep himself in the game. Not going to work as Evo is getting a great possession here. Oh my goodness, he baited. Oh, Evo! Evo got a little overexcited. He made the right play, doing what is basically the Collie flick. I don't know if it's fair to call it that, but Collie's the guy who uses it most often. That slow dribble where then you just flick it to the moon using a backflip and a score on the double touch. But Evo should have had it easily. He just got a little overexcited, and, and his pre-jump was not in the correct direction. Unable to crowd the ball, but up 4-3 still with 40 seconds left to go, and is fully in control of the match right now. Nick at the mercy of Evo. What a nice catch, interesting shot. But Nick able to save it away. 30 seconds says our Champions Field announcer as Nick 
Lobs up a bouncy shot to midfield. You'd think it would have been a great opportunity for Evo, but no. Nick is right back on the ball. And his 50 re-earns it. Oh, my. I mean, normally a bouncing setup off the sidewall to your opponent is a death wish for yourself. But Nick, able to meet Evo at midfield, wins the challenge for the fourth and might be able to end the show match if he can score on this opportunity. Evo has to use every last bit of his boost just to save away that initial shot. So he's sitting low. What a 50 from Evo. That is so tough to cover the high shots and still win the 50 when the opposition goes low. But Evo did exactly that. The ball will hit the ground. So a super important kickoff here for young Evo to stay alive in this game. Nick, maybe one of the first wave dash kickoffs we've seen from him so far this series. And he decides to mix it up on one of the most important kickoffs. And it's not going to work. Evo will take control and a great bounce set up to himself. Nick can't get it out. Oh, crossbar down. That is perfect shot from Evo. So we are going to game number five. And the great news is that there's 10 new subs in the stream who can put game five hype in the chat. So let's see it. We got a game number five. Here we go. Evo versus Nick. Game five. Nick, the first time we ever talked to him was... Barely more than 30 minutes ago, maybe not even 30 minutes ago, as he accepted my friend request and said he'd be down to play. Top 50 player going up against one of the better ones players we've had on stream. What a nice pinch from Evo to start off this game number five. And Nick, a huge air dribble back the other way. This is seeming like a very good game number five to start. Nick won't score on the initial. Oh my goodness, what a save from Evo. That seemed like a foregone conclusion for Nick. Such a great setup on his air dribble 50, but... Evo, even better defense, makes it back in time. Insane start to this game in the first 30 seconds. Nick, a mistake, and Evo, a mistake as well. Nick had left an open net there, but Evo with low boost couldn't find the arrow shot to convert. A bounce dribble threatened by Evo, and the low 50, though, is read by Nick. Another 50 attempt. Evo can't connect. Both these guys putting on very solid chances on net. But yet to find a goal. Evo, demo at midfield, has a nice bounce dribble power shot. Pre-read by Nick to save it away. This is the game five of defense so far. As Nick, unfortunately, goes flying by at uh, midfield right as I say that. Leaving a completely open net. But great defense so far from both these guys. As Nick getting just a little bit lost in those last few moments. Nick winning this kickoff. Down one, trying to boom a ground power shot past the waiting defender, always so hard. So few players we've seen have been able to boom power shots that well, on the ground that is, to get past defenders. Evo a trip out to boost, but without getting the boost. Still able to get the save. Nick all the way back into his corner. He seems to like these air dribbles, but has not been ultra effective with them. Long shot from Evo. Nick not only not touching the ball, but not grabbing the boost in the corner, leaving him completely exposed. Evo just going to give him a big question mark in chat because that was truly... A weird mistake from Nick with how well he's been playing so far. He says IDRC, but does he really IDRC? Evo starved a boost for the first time in a long time, and Nick will grab a first. Very well placed, far post. On the low boost defender who cannot make up the ground. Nick able to gain control of possession off this kickoff. Evo challenging early and getting a demo for it. Full field air dribble from Evo. We, he loves to take these. And normally 
much more lethal against less talented defenders, but Nick has done a good job of being in the right spot in every situation. Booming clear from Evo. Nick is just going to let it come off the back wall and challenge late. Lucky that Evo is not able to find the angle. Evo low on boost. Gets the ball past Nick, but bumped in the process. So a full reset here as these guys head to their back corners. Nick an opportunity to set up whatever he wants, trying to play fast, expecting that really early challenge from Evo the way both these guys have been challenging this whole match. So not a bad idea. We'll try and play it quick and get it over him. This flick will be above Evo, but outside the net. And he'll be demoed for his efforts in the corner. So Evo bounce dribble off the quick respawn. And a nice play from Evo for a third. Nick spawning, grabbing that corner boost. Not able to get a read fast enough on the play from Evo. Might have been better off heading straight into net instead of taking that slight detour to the back corner boost. So Evo, up three to one, a uh, very interesting clear. Evo trying to go all in that he can pinch this so hard that it will go way past his net, but uh, it did not. It ends up being a direct pass to Nick. Nick gonna need some of that kickoff magic that he had in the first part of this series. He was dominating the kickoff stand. A great touch off the side wall. This dribble on the crossbar and down. Oh my goodness, Nick. What a shot. As he takes it from the back right corner. And oh, when you pinch it off the crossbar like that, it is so hard to save. I think Evo actually got a touch to push the ball out a little bit. But Nick will 50 it in. So all tied up with a minute left to go. Game 5. This has proven to be one of the better matches we've had on stream. And maybe the best debut match ever from Nick, as he has played great against a good opponent. Nick, his air dribble, leaving a lot to be desired. Cannot find any sort of play off of it, but does a good job of taking the ball back into his corner and not getting demoed from Eva when he was in that low boost situation. Nick. Deciding he doesn't have time to grab that midfield boost. Instead, he'll grab the back corner. He's in such an awkward spot, but he makes the save. Oh, my goodness, Nick. Having to fly off the side of the wall and use his flip just to stay in position. Somehow found a way to stay in front of Evo's shot. 13 seconds left to go. Not a great position for Nick. Evo, lots of boost. A wave dash set up, and Nick seemed like he was trying to bait Evo into maybe taking a power shot that could be saved. No way Evo or Nick thought he was going to go all the way out to that boost. Yeah, I guess he was just trying to get that pad. He wanted anything because he was sitting at zero boost. But that pad was a little bit too much of a detour. And Evo rushes it into the net. Seven seconds left to go. Nick needs a great kickoff. And he got it. And he'll tie it up. Nick absolutely clutching the kickoff when he needs to. As he will not go down easy. Four seconds left to go. Four to four with four seconds left. Evo keeping this ball in the air in his own corner. Might be a risk. Oh my goodness, he is being so dangerous launching this ball to midfield. But he knows what he's doing. He'll drop it to the ground. And it will be game five overtime today in our first show match on stream. And Nick's first show match ever. Will he be able to take the win? Evo clear off the back wall, holding on to his boost. Nick has all the boosts he needs on defense, but is Evo too good? It might not matter. He has been trying to go for these delay 50s because these guys have been playing such good defense. But not able to score on this one. High bouncing setup to himself. Nick, the pre-flip into the way of the ball. Had that ball went in the air, Nick would have been in big trouble. But luckily for him, the ball rolling right into his pre-flip as he tries to maintain possession. Well, Evo challenges quickly. This is what Nick has been doing all series. Oh, no, Nick. Are you kidding me? He tried to get a little bit fancy. In the last second, he had the win. He had the win. And for one second, he tries to get a little bit fancy, do some sort of flip cancel, and he will not get the win. A minute left to go. Technically not over. 
He still could bring it back, but oh my goodness, he's got to be beating himself up if he doesn't win this one. Evo the setup and the win off the back wall. Oh my goodness. Nick almost able to end one of the best debuts ever with a W. Oh no, he's got controller drift, he says. Rip! Rips in the chat for Nick as Evo will take it in game number five. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> oh, that was a rip.